in the vast sea of exceptional knowledge sometimes it really becomes very tough to get the answers for simple questions and that is what happened with me when i tried to learn how you can use loda models inside comfy ui there are all those complicated and refined workflows available all around the web but i could not find the answer to this simple question how i can just add a loda model in my workflow and as soon as i found that simple method to do it i wanted to share it with you people so that you don't need to keep hunting like i had to for this very simple technique now let's shoot up your comfy ui and just load the default workflow here now if you think how the loda models work the data from the checkpoint model goes into the loda model and then that goes into the sampler with the output let's right click add node loaders load loda now we can see two inputs and two outputs here model and clip therefore we detach the model connection from sampler and put it into the loda node then output from that loda node goes into the sampler similarly for those positive and negative prompts we detach the clip connector put it into the loda then output from the loda node goes inside the text encoders that makes our positive and negative prompts now you can just write any nice prompt and run it and that's how it works this time i am not putting a link to my workflow in the description because that's how simple this is and if you want to learn even more complicated workflows and how you can run sdxl base model along with sdxl refine model and sdxl offset loda then you should definitely check out this video right here